Good morning. Welcome to our February 2015 A-Team. I'm going to jump right into it today. We've got some, some great stuff to share. I want to start off by just checking our progress. What have we done so far this year? Uh, we're going to do this in every meeting to make sure that the key things stay in front of us and that we know where we're making progress, where we might need to turn up the heat a little bit. I can tell you this is fun. In January, I normally expect the numbers not to move very much. It's not our biggest uh, selling month, and obviously – uh, when you're looking at 12-month rolling averages, you don't expect it to move the needle very far. And we did. And I'm excited. I can't wait to share it with you. Before I do that, I want to make sure everybody knows that this is mile one, right? We've got a long race to run. Uh, if you are you know, not tracking on one of the goals, you have more than enough time to catch up on it. And if you are tracking on one of the goals, you need to stay on that goal. We've got a lot of months in front of us. But we are. Uh, we, we had a very, very, very nice month that I'm looking forward to sharing with you. So let's jump right in. Buyer and seller conversion. Buyer conversion is represented by the blue, and seller conversion is, is represented by the red. As you can see, we had a lot of people. This 0% right here represents where were we as of December 31st, 2014, and the bar represents if we move the needle forward or backwards, uh, in the month of January, and then we took another snapshot on January 31st. So take a look at this. I mean, all of this stuff above the line means that our conversion got better. And again, I just wouldn't have expected to see it move like this in, in a, a month like January. So really good start, guys. Let's take a look at some of our top performers. Our Culpepper moved their buyer conversion forward by 7%. Outstanding job. They they moved buyer conversion forward by the by the most. Uh, both our Annapolis and our uh, Loudon offices moved their seller conversion forward by 3%. So great job by those branches. And our, our Loudon office, as you can see, both moved both their buyer and seller conversion forward significantly. They had a really nice month. La Plata moving their, seller, their buyer conversion forward by 6%. So really, really great start. Uh, like I said, the numbers will jump around a little bit and they'll solidify as we hit the summer months. So uh, I just couldn't be any happier at a slide that looks like this. Thank you. So overall in agent service, this number right here, this 0% is representative of hitting 90% satisfaction, right? That's the goal. Nine out of 10 people saying, yes, you, uh, you know, we rate you as a nine or a 10. So uh, for every uh, bar that we see above this, this is how far ahead they're tracking of 90%. You can see our Loudon office again having a great, uh, great little run with relocation here. Take a look at this. They are 100% on agent service and 100% on overall service. La Plata office doing really well. Gainesville office doing really well. Lexington Park office doing really well. A lot of offices performing here. A um, couple offices need to really kind of take a look at this. I happen to be in one of them, and I know that we're really focused on it. Uh, one of the key things that we can really do is make sure that we get as many returns as we can as possible. And I saw that our numbers actually went up a little bit in most of the branches in terms of our return rate. So keep doing that. That will pay dividends. Make sure that everybody who liked our service returns that survey. There are offices, uh, I believe uh, our top office has a, uh, I want to say a 65% return rate. So I know we get frustrated sometimes. Where did that survey go? And but out of every survey sent to our, I believe it's our Loudon office, 65% of the surveys have been returned so far. So you can't, you know, that's doing really well. If, if all of our offices were doing that, we would probably uh, consistently be above the line. So really stay focused on that. Honoring the source for mortgage and title. So this represents, uh, the 0% line represents the goal. And the goals are, to be at least 50% for all sources of mortgage and at least 66% for all for for uh, for title. So if we take a look, we can see there are several offices that are performing above the goal in both Annapolis, Centerville, really really top performer in this category, Columbia, really a top performer in this category, Loudon again top performer in the category. And then uh, we see some offices have one thing that they're performing well on and one thing that they need to improve on. And these are the kinds of discussions that I hope we're going to have after uh, I'm done yapping on in my videos. 
I uh, also want to acknowledge the Woodbridge office and the Washington, D.C. office, all significantly ahead of goal. So here's our business building and friends and family. And this is showing how you are performing against your goal. And it's uh, against one twelfth of your goal, right? One month is gone. So we, we, we took your goals and said, here's one twelfth of the goal. How are you performing against that? Know that I expected this slide to be slow. We're not going to close as many outbounds in, in January as we are in, in May and June. But the, the work to get those May and June closings starts right now. This is the time that we've got to make sure that we've got referrals out there and that they're cooking and that they can that they'll they'll buy in the right seasons in, in other markets. So um, of all the slides, this is the one area that we have to keep this a good focus on this, make sure that we've got activity on this. When your summer month comes along, summer months come along and your business is booming, it's hard to remember to prospect for this stuff. It's hard that, to then set up a system to make sure that everybody knows about it. Those systems and that prospecting needs to happen now. I think the Buffini uh, TV said that 40% of your uh, of your leads need to be generated in the in the first quarter of the year. So let's jump all over this. Make sure that this is a focus as as a company. This is an area that we should be focusing, and in almost every branch, this area we should be focusing. Focusing. But let's take a look at who did perform. Uh, Loudon on AGRs is above goal. La Plata on friends and family is tracking at a hundred and forty percent ahead of goal. McLean, awesome job on friends and family. They're tracking at about 70% ahead of goal. And our Waldorf office also tracking uh, ahead of goal on our, on our AGR goal. Don't get discouraged about this slide, guys. It, we'll get discouraged about it if it looks the same way in April. And uh, the good news is we're never going to take it out of our site, and we're going to make sure that we get, get this stuff done, uh, that we win as a team, and that we, uh, we meet our goals. So when you add all that stuff together, remember we put a weighting system together for the 20-point scale, and I'll probably show that to you a couple times throughout the year too, just so we can keep it fresh and in front of everybody. But take a look at the performances so far. Look at our Loudon office. Out of 20 points, our Loudon office had 19 points. They missed on only one category. They got max points in every category except for, I believe, uh, I think they were hitting their AGR and not their friends and family. So. Really, really great start for our Loudon branch, great start for La Plata, and you can see everybody's in this race. And I will tell you that by the end of the year, I know that every office can hit 20 points. There is not one office here, no matter where you are on any of this stuff, you can hit the 20 points for sure. And just to, to uh, I, I know that I know that 100% because we have a couple categories where you can get extra points in case there's something that you can't miss. And that's going to be important for us in the year. We're going to cut. We're going to have our renewals coming up soon. And when we do our renewals, I'll talk about how this 20 point scale is going to is going to uh, tie into some of our goals. Um, I love the idea of competition. I love the idea that if the office uh, meets its goals, then everybody involved in that team effort ought to benefit from it in some way. So more to come on that. I don't want to make promises until I've written the policy, until, it, until it's been signed off on. But we're going to use this to say, if you can perform on all these categories, it's going to benefit you. Before I jump into my next, that was a lot of fun to, to pull those. The, the data is not fun to pull. But scoring it up and looking at it and seeing that you guys are making progress and that the hard work that you've been putting in in, in the third, you know, late third and fourth quarter, it's starting to pay off, guys. And I know that we push very hard as a company, but it's fun when you start moving the needle forward and you see the progress that you're making. I hope everybody in that room takes a very sincere thank you from me, takes a very sincere thank you from Todd and Mary Lynn, from your branch leaders, and from everybody around. Those were really, really uh, a great, great start to the year. Couldn't ask for better. So I want to skip to the next thing. Uh, this is a pet project of mine, something that I've, that I've really uh, hoped that we could do as a company, and I'm so excited that we have. Kerry Mulvey uh, is spearheading this, and she's going to do a fantastic job with it. She's done a fantastic job with it. Uh, wait till you see what she has created. So let's jump into NM Exclusive Connections. NM Exclusive Connections, is this is actually the, uh, the page that you would land on. If you go to c21nm.com, You'll see there's a tab all the way over to the right, and it says uh, it says exclusive connections, 
and then it would open this. Or you can also get there from the relocation tab on our main website. And here's what the website looks like. It's a list of uh, vendors that we recommend. And we advertise them uh, on, on, on our websites in a whole lot of ways, which I'll explain to you. There are across a lot of different types of uh, categories, right? Uh, for the home, improvement, moving, staging, cleaning, restoration, inspectors, warranty, uh, area amenities. So we'll build this website out. It's going to get better and better. But Kerry's done a great job of signing in some of these uh, some of these exclusive connections partners, and it's going to make us look a lot better. Let me be specific about what I mean. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because this is what our clients expect of us. Our client expects that you know and have connections in the local area to say, hey, I need wood floors. I need an inspector. I need, I need all these different types of quotes. And then if you take it to the next level when they actually have moved into the community, hey, I, I got to set up all new connections. I, gotta, I, gotta, uh, I might need a new uh, banking relationship. I might need a new CPA. There's all kinds of things that can go into this. We're going to start with the basics, right? We're going to start with the things that they're most likely to ask for, which is like, you know, the HVAC repair. Um, we've got somebody that we just signed in for mold cleaning, things that we see a, a lot. So it's really going to deepen the level of service that we can provide. It's also going to allow agents to bring this value to their, their trusted business relationships. I know vendors reach out to you all the time and say, hey, you know, can you refer me to other agents? Could you maybe get me in front of your office? And, and they're, they're hoping that's kind of the, the tops of what their expectations might be. This is a program where they can be marketed that, yes, they can get uh, in front of you and they can get in front of the agents in, in the offices. Um, and but but to take it to a whole new level, they're now going to be linked out. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways that, that we've really uh, brought some value to these guys. And everybody that we talk to about this program loves this program, particularly in comparison to some of the other companies and what they try to offer. It's going to expand our presence in the community. Uh, it's going to make us look so much better. I, I'll give you one example. On the day that we posted on social media that our company was number one in the world again, a whole bunch of our vendors started posting that on their social media websites, and we didn't ask them to do it. We I, we had no idea that they would. Kerry just all of a sudden was surfing on, on their uh, websites and saw, hey, congratulations to our preferred partner. They want to brand with us. They want to be part of us. And that's great because they're going to expand our presence and they're going to tell other people about who we are and what our services are and why they should do and why people should do business with us. And it's, it's also going to keep us in compliance, right? There's some questions in Maryland right now about any referral that you give, whether it be wood floors or anything, you have to know and check that their licenses are valid. That's a, I, I don't know how you could administrate and do that as an agent. Well, as a department, we can easily do that. We have a, uh, we have a grid. We put down the dates of expiration for their uh, for their licenses, and we call them each month to make sure that we update the, the ones that need to be updated. So anybody that's on this list is going to be a valid and valid vendor, and we're going to have checked their uh, you know that they're in compliance and that their their licenses are valid. That's a great thing, guys. How embarrassing to go into a situation where, God forbid. A client of yours doesn't like the work that's done. They start checking into the vendor, and lo and behold, that vendor hasn't renewed their license. That's not going to make us look good. So uh, this is one more way to just sort of make sure that, that uh, we stay compliant and that we're doing the right thing by our clients. How can that pay off? Well, let me show you. Uh, if you're in Centerville, you know exactly what this is. Uh, around Thanksgiving, we all did the Popeyes for a pie, and Centerville, uh, that's a big event for them. I think they do, they bring in a truck. I think they do, you know, a thousand pies or maybe even more, and they have their clients come in to pick them up. Well, they, they beefed up that by having all the Anim Exclusive Connections partners show up so that when clients came in, they not only picked up their pie, but there were all these local services that are offering uh, value to the clients and, uh, and networking with them. And it just makes us look so much bigger and so much better by having all these connections and showing ourselves as a truly full service company. We can do so much more with this, guys. Great job by Centerville, by the way. Really appreciated you guys jumping on that. You know, you've got to build these programs somewhere. You've got to start with a website. You've got to start with an event. And you hope that one day it's going to be this big thing. But you've got to start by taking, you know, eight or nine clients, getting them to commit, and then and doing right by them. And our Centerville office really helped us with that. So thank you. 
what's in it for the vendors? I mean, we talked a little bit about it, right? They're going to get, this is what they want. They want number one. They want exposure to you, the best agents in the market, period. That is what's so important to them. They do marketing programs with other companies. Everybody's got some, some kind of a program, or a lot of companies have some kind of a program, but it usually starts and stops with a link. That is not what this program is. The link is really nice, and we've got a couple creative ideas I want to show you, but it's really about relationships. And so this is where we're going to excel, and this is what they really want. We are going to automate exposure to all our relocation clients. I'm going to show you how that's going to work. It's pretty swift. Uh, direct links from our website. So uh, obviously that's something where we can match it. And anybody who logs into our website, instead of having them contact us, we'll send them directly to that vendor so that it's one click and they're there. They'll be able to do co-branded marketing with us. They'll have invitations to all of our appropriate company events, right? There's a few company events where we don't want vendors there, but anything that makes sense, they'll be invited to come. Um, they are really excited about what we what we're doing supporting the Buffini program and some of the relationship marketing, and they they are very creative about what they'd be willing to offer and do to help us there. That might even might help us uh, from the agent level, maybe offset the expense of sending out some of the notes and, and Popeyes and things that we do. We can expand upon that, but that's something that we've told them about, and they're very excited to participate in. And then we'll we'll uh, pump them out and uh, and get them into all of our uh, social media feeds and continue to support them that way as well. Uh, here's what our Facebook page looks like. So this is the NM Exclusives uh, NM Exclusive Connections uh, Facebook page. You can see the the most recent was Sweet America. Sweet America is a company that uh, provides corporate housing for somebody who's moving into the area, maybe needs three months worth of rental before they close on a home or haven't found their home yet. Uh, so that's who, that's who Sweet America is. And you'll see uh, you know, every time we have a new, uh, new vendor, we'll post it right in here. If you haven't uh, liked this, we'll be sending this link out to you. Really would love for every agent to, uh, to link into this. I really believe this is this just such a, a phenomenal and easy program for us to really pick up our presence. And I'm really, I'm hoping that my enthusiasm uh, spills over to you in some kind of way and that, you, that you're really going to support this program because I think it's good for everybody. Uh, this is what I was talking about. So Relospec recognizes customers in different stages, right? At first, it's an active referral, somebody who's searching. Well, the needs of somebody who's active are different. They're starting to think about different different services and we can send an email to them and say, hey, click this link. Here's some of the things that we think somebody in, in the stage of just looking at a home might be interested in. And then we find out that the uh, contract that we have a contract and now it's pending. Well, there's different levels of, of service that they want at that point. And again, an automated email goes to them. As soon as that status changes, an email goes out to that client saying, hey, we know uh, that uh, while your, uh, your home is pending, there's uh, likely a bunch of things that you're looking for. Click this link and here's some, some services. We're already getting responses to these emails and they're automated going out to our clients. And then finally, once they've closed, now they need relationships in the community. That's a different email, linking them into the services and saying, hey, here's some of the, the services that people seem to want once they move into the community. Please feel free to click on, on, the, on the link and, and take a look at our value partners. So this thing is pretty cool and, and, our, and the clients really like it. It basically guarantees the vendors exposure to about 8,000 clients a year. So it's, it's significant and as they look at what we have to offer, um, I don't believe anybody else is really offering this kind of uh, kind of a service. So what's the commitment from the vendor? This is cheap, guys. Four hundred and fifty dollars per year. We do the full setup for them. We set up all their logos. We're not making money doing this, and I want to be really clear about that. I used to work for Ascendant, and I knew that they had this preferred alliance program. And everybody has always said about these programs, oh, they don't really make money, and they're they're too complex. That's not our goal. If you went back to slide one about why are we doing this, it's not about making money. We've had people come to us and say, we'll give you 3% of the move if we can have it be your exclusive mover. Not interested. Don't want to do it. Uh, that's their business. We're about real estate. I don't want them coming and saying that they want a piece of our business, and I sure don't want a piece of theirs either. So $450 a year. The thing that we ask them for is, you have to have a service commitment to our clients. If our client, if there's a gray area in a move or the client's unhappy, 
find a way because of the bigger picture of all the clients that you're that you're working with with Century 21 New Millennium to make that client happy. Don't think of them as one client. Think of us as the client. So that's a service commitment that we ask ask of the vendors. And then we ask them, hey, is there a reasonable discount that you can offer? Let me give you an example of that. Town and Country is one of our uh, is one of our vendors. Town and Country, if you move with them, will come. Uh, they give you free wardrobe boxes. They pack them and unpack them for you, and they give you the first. I'm going to screw this up because I don't have any notes in front of me. I'm going to guess that it's fifty thousand dollars, but maybe it's twenty five. But they give you some free insurance on your move. And that doesn't cost them a whole lot of money, and we don't want them to, to spend a lot of money. We want them to offer something that's different for our clients to, to make us look great, and they're willing to do it. <clears throat> so uh, we're, we're going to have a contest, and uh, hopefully this will pique everybody's interest. What we're going to do is between today and March 19th, the branch that submits and signs the most NM exclusive connections partners will get one additional point on that 20 point scale. And like I told you, there's gonna be a benefit to the offices, the, the, the specifically to the agents of the offices that perform on that 20 point scale. And we'll roll that out to you when we do renewals. I have all the ideas in my head, I just need to get them blessed and, uh, and we'll do that for you when we renew. But I guarantee it's gonna help you. So each month we'll have a contest for one additional point. The branch that signs the most NM exclusive connection partners between now and March 19th is going to get an extra an extra point on that 20 point scale. Um, Want to make sure, and I'll wrap it up right here. Uh, number one, uh, to submit that, you're going to submit it to uh, Kerry Mulvey, and you can do it by just uh, sending it to relo at c21nm.com and just uh, title your uh, put a subject line in of, of exclusive connections. Carrie will walk you through if you have questions, if you're not sure. Um, she's more than, more than willing to answer any questions and make sure that, that this is right for, the, for your connections. Want to make sure that everybody understands, we are, not, uh, we are not telling you that you have to put anybody into this program. This, you should see this as, as something of value and something that you want to offer to deepen your relationship with somebody uh, that you're already doing business with. And that's who we're looking for you, for you to, uh, to tell us about. Obviously, please tell us about people that you think are the top uh, in the industry. While we're not going to give, um, and while, while no partner will have, it, have this exclusively, uh, we want to choose three or four partners in each category. And we want to do that by starting with who provides the best service. So uh, nobody, is, nobody is required to put anybody into this. You are allowed to use vendors outside of this program. The only thing that I ask is that if you are on the relocation team and someone is engaging with one of these services, that you support it and that you not offer any competition. So it's when someone is engaged, please don't do anything to get in the way of that. But there's not a requirement to use it. Um, there's not a requirement to put anybody into it. I really hope that this program has so much merit and that people are going to like these ideas and that we can build upon this that I don't really even need to have to sell this. And uh, I know that there will be questions. Please ask them. Uh, there's no question that you can't ask and that we won't answer. I really want this program to be so successful. I think that we can brand ourselves in such a big way uh, and add something that really deepens the level of service that we've been providing. So that's it. Uh, I leave you to your branch. Thank you again for the great numbers and we'll talk to you in March.